Yo, what's up guys? With Sword Shield coming to a close as we're only three months away from the new games and the new meta game. Wanted to talk about current trends and mods that are great right now. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First one we're going to talk about is Relaboom. Uh, the Isle of Armor meta game was considered borderline broken and people wanted it banned uh, mostly because like Grassy Glide on paper is just an absurd move. Uh, one of the strongest priority moves in the game. Uh, basically meaning you can check anything offensively um, that like wants to boost or anything like that. Uh, nowadays, however, no longer the case. Uh, the rise of Corviknight and Skarm with Rocky Helmet, plus Iron Defense, uh, Bulky Dragonite sets, Defensive Volk, uh, Buzzwall, Tangrowth, uh, Unaware Clefable, being able to check SD sets without one hammer. Uh, Rain, a play style Liboom is supposed to do well versus, is commonly seen running solid counterplay in Tornadus T and Zapdos, uh, Torrent T in particular being an amazing pick in the meta right now in general outside rain. Uh, even Scizor is a solid counter and defensive sets can usually always live plus 2 life orb superpower and KO back with U-turn after the defense drop. Uh, top of the is also one of the best offensive answers to boom because prevents grassy glide and always turns to Oko with psychic. Uh, there's just so many factors going against Rillaboom currently that it's almost not worth using and definitely isn't the beast it once was. I uh, wouldn't be surprised if it dropped to UU or UUBL before the gen is done. Uh, so yeah, there's been much of the boom, not much else to talk about. Uh, uh, second mod on the list is Urshifu Rapid. Uh, surprise me with how fast this thing rolls in viability, uh, currently being A plus on the rankings. Uh, compared to back in the day, you'd only see it on rain as it was otherwise outclassed by the dark variant. Uh, but with that band and the rise of Weavile and Best Sharp only to be expected, uh, Urshifu to me is basically Gen 8 Keldeo, not only due to typing but how they operate in their respective tiers. Uh, many of his counters, uh, for example Toxapex, Buzzwole, can be worked around via future site support from both Slow Kings. Uh, though Galarian is usually preferred for his great matchup versus Tapu Fini, um, or it can bust through its defensive answers with a coverage move, either Ice or Thunder Punch uh, for a Pokemon such as Dragonite. Uh, there's quite a few sets to choose from, um, with Choice Band being the easiest to use and most common. Uh, protective Pads is my personal favorite because one of the best ways to wear down uh, Urshifu is Rocky Helmet or Rough Skin, but with pads you go right through that and this allows you to click U-Turn ETC without fear or chip. Uh, Boca plus Thunder Punch is a weird one and I think needs to be built around to work, but definitely worth experimenting with. Um, yeah, just easily one of the best Pokemon in the tier and recommend trying it out. Uh, next is Mel Metal. Uh, I've seen this thing quite a lot on ladder lately, like literally every other game during OLT was facing one of these. Uh, assuming that was due to uh, people spamming Cloyster and Bishard, but yeah. Uh, I say the biggest reason Mel Metal is so great is because nothing can kill it in one hit. Uh, for example, Ben did uh, CC from Ashifu as a roll to KO with HP investment. So. Its natural bulk is the most ridiculous of any mon in OU, uh, makes it incredibly hard to check offensively despite being slow, which is why it's so good versus offense. Uh, hard checks, Bisharp, Fable, Cartana, uh, Galarian Slowking, Tapu Fini, Weavile, uh, and of course with Assault Vest can tank hits from Jack Bolt, Kiram, Tapu Koko, Tapu Lele. Um, this has so many good sets between Choice Band. AV pads, lefties. Uh, crazy part is Mamado still has room to be explored. Uh, Custap even could be fun to get surprise kills. Uh, lefties in particular is just really annoying. Like, you're protecting, you're getting so much health back every turn. Uh, it's why it saw a lot more use than Assault Vest at one point, and why it was considered better than that set. But yeah, um, Melo is just one of those mods that will always be useful because. It can usually get a positive guaranteed trade with something on the opposing team then come back in later and threaten something else so yeah it's pretty much just my metal uh just one of those solid mons uh there's other stuff like chomp heat ran which are still excellent uh people have been playing around with nature power tran alongside coco and finny to either break the water types with uh t-boats or dragons with moonblast 
uh, Will-O-Wisp is amazing uh, if you can fit it. Uh, catches ground upon switch, uh, basically making Chomp and things like that useless for the entire game. Uh, something I'd really try out is just Lava Plume, no Magma Storm. Uh, seeing so many teams with uh, Magma Tran alongside things that already beat fat and balance. For example, the one uh, I used, uh, which I'll probably put on the screen right now, has Taunt Torrent T, Carmine Clef, and Band Lando. Just like, don't mindlessly run that move if you don't need to. Um, and yeah, there's other things like Cloyster, which has fallen off with King's Rock gone. Deserved honestly, like saw so many games where it flinched through or should be counter and it won off that. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the couple of models I wanted to go over. Didn't want to make this extremely long. And I uh, yeah, really hope you guys enjoyed this one and yeah, peace.